Okay, the purpose of this review is to get you guys up to speed on MathCAD as it will be used in our machine design class. So we're going to look at a problem out of the textbook, problem 336. Now the first thing that we're going to look at with this problem is entering text. All right. um, when you enter text in MathCAD, MathCAD can't use that for any calculations or anything else. It's just text. There's three ways to do it. First way is to start typing. Like I'm going to start typing here. This is text. As soon as I hit spacebar, you'll notice that the appearance of that box changed. That means it turned it into text. Now, um, there's another way to do it. You can go up here to insert text region. This is text. And the last way is by just typing a double quotation mark, then typing your text. So anything that's entered as text cannot, by, cannot be used by MathCAD in actually working a problem. Now here I'm going to delete some multiple lines here, so I'm going to hold down the left mouse button, select those, and delete. It takes it off my screen. So I'm going to put a note that this is problem 3-36a from the textbook. And I'm uh, going to assume that you have the handout there with you of what the problem is that we're solving. I'm going to rather closely follow the textbook solution. So first thing I'm going to enter is beam length. We're going to use a capital L. Now, I, it's a couple of different things you can do here. I'm going to type a colon. You know, you'll notice it makes a colon equal. In MathCAD, that is an assignment equal sign. So anything that appears on the right-hand side of that colon equal will be assigned to the variable L. So I'm going to type 20. Well, my problem says that tw the units on this are inches. MathCAD can handle inches. So I'm going to do a multiply, like I'm going to multiply 20 by something, and just type IN for inches. Hit Enter. All right. Now, if I type L, and then I just hit regular equal sign, it converts that 20 inches into meters. The default unit system in MathCAD is going to be metric, so it converted it to metric. Well, suppose that I don't want that in metric, I want it in English. Uh, maybe I want it in feet. I'm going to move my cursor over here and click on that little black box and type FT for feet. I'm going to press Enter and it automatically converts it to feet. All right. Well, I don't need that anymore. I'm going to go ahead and keep entering some other variables. Okay, um, I've got a variable A for this problem. Uh, this is a shear and bending moment diagram problem where we're going to create singularity functions. All right. So the distance to the start of the load is A. Now I need to set this equal to 16 inches, so I'm going to use a colon, 16 times inches and then B is 18 inches now if you're entering something and you forget or you don't know what MathCAD is going to abbreviate the unit as you can go up here to insert unit and be given a list of all the units that MathCAD has and let me move this up so you guys can see that I'm gonna go down here to let's see I need a unit of length click on length and here's some various length units here's inch click on that insert okay so if you ever forget what unit you need you don't know the proper abbreviation you can go to insert unit there's also a button up here that shows a measuring cup and that will accomplish the same thing next variable is my distributed load it's called P got colon 1000 now this is pound force per inch. Whoops, I uh, pushed the wrong button. Don't panic over the don't panic over the calculus symbols. Okay, this is a good example. I'm hitting spacebar. It's not deleting. I press delete. It's not doing anything. What do we do? The hardest thing to learn in MathCAD is how to edit equations. So when all else fails, try highlighting it. I just clicked on it and drug over it. I press delete, and I'm good. Now this is in units at pound force per inch, so I'm going to say pound force, LBF, and then usual divide symbol that you're used to, inch. Okay, so these are my 
this is my first set of input values All right. and what I'm going to do here is rearrange these a little bit so they take up less space so I'm going to hold down the left mouse button okay drag over till it highlights something and just rearrange it here on the page okay now one of the first things you need to learn here is that MathCAD will only recognize variables value to the right and below where you declare the variable so in regular English what that means is if I go up here and I type B and then equal it doesn't equal anything okay but if I go down here a little bit below where I defined it and I say B equals I now have a value okay all right well now they're writing uh, in math terms load function equation um, setting up their equations what we're going to look at first of all is solving for the reactions okay uh, that will be step four in the textbook solution okay so we're going to look at solving for the reactions they went ahead and just input it directly I'm going to teach you how to use the given find block in MathCAD okay so now we need to find reactions that would be R1 and R2 so first step uh, we're going to I'm going to put in a text area solve for the reactions and print my spelling at either end that will be R1 and R2 now for MathCAD to find those reactions for us we need to give it a guess value so I'm going to say R sub 1 okay first thing here to get R with a one subscript, I type R period one, and then do my colon, and I don't know what the value is, so I'm just going to guess 100 pound force, because I don't know. I'm just going to give it a guess value. I'm going to press tab. Okay, now you'll see that that one now looks like a subscript. That's called a literal subscript. It doesn't have any inherent meaning in MathCAD. It's just a textual thing like a subscript you do in Microsoft Word. Well, let's go ahead and set up a guess value for R2. And let's make it 100 pounds force also. Now you'll notice I used a period to get that subscript. Okay. Now I'm going to type the word given. Now this cannot be a text region, so don't press space after you type given. I'm typing in here the word given, and then I'm going to move down on the page, and I'm going to put my formulas in. That will tell me what uh, R1 and R2 should be. Well, by using um, what I know from basic statics, some of the forces is going to be equal to zero. So I'm going to say that R sub 1 plus r sub 2 minus p that's my distributed load okay and the distance that p acts is going to be b minus a so it's p times b minus a okay now this is going to equal zero this is going to introduce us to another type of equal sign it's called the boolean equal sign you use it when you're just putting equations in that are not going to be used for a computation or equations in this given find block control equal zero so that's the my first equation sum of the forces uh, my second equation it looks like I'll need to get a sum of the moments equal to zero so let's see where shall we take our sum of the moments about I might as well do R1 okay now I'm not this is not a statics lesson this is a uh, uh, design of machinery mechanical systems design crash course in math CAD lesson so I'm not going to explain in detail how I'm setting up my equation but this is what um, this is what I've got R2 times L minus P times B minus A that gives me my force P times B minus A times A, I'll put this in parentheses, A plus B minus A over 2. Okay, and so 
that will be my moment arm and all of that is going to be equal to zero and again I'm using the control equal okay so that's my formulas next step is finding the solution so I'm going to type uh, let's see there's a couple of different ways to do this um, I'm going to show you guys the most useful way I'm going to need to insert a vector here you know a vector is where you've got uh, two or more values in a single column so I'm going to go up here to the palette and you'll notice this is vector matrix toolbar I click on that let me move this over here so you guys can see it alright we're given some options on creating a matrix this is what I'm going to do is click on this first one here and let's see I'm going to be solving for R1 and R2 so that'll be two rows and one column I'm going to click OK so here I'm going to say R1 now the way I get to that next block I can either use my mouse and click on it or hit tab this will be R2 now I need to set this equal to whatever MathCAD finds as a solution so in order to put the equal sign in the right spot I'm going to hit space bar once you notice that's now selected the whole matrix if it hadn't I would keep pressing space bar until it had do my control equals capital FIND for find and then I tell MathCAD what values what variables to find R1 and R2 now I'm going to hit enter okay now if it turns red something's wrong it didn't turn red so let's see what we got uh, R period 1 equals I want that in pounds force okay got 300 pounds for us our period 2 is equal uh, just regular equal sign and we're getting for that uh, 1700 pounds for us now I can tell you from working with this that that is the correct answer now this given fine block can be a little bit problematic if it ever just absolutely quits working for you just take everything you've got and copy it and paste it on a brand new worksheet